Doug Sewell, looks like you found another beautiful non-slide Liberty coach. What's going on here, sir? Yeah, I, I just feel like I'm on a, an extreme run of some of the nicest 20-year-old motorhomes that I've ever laid my eyes on, let alone touch, able to touch these coaches and buy them and resell them. And this one's no exception. It's, it really is a spectacular machine. I say we go take it out on the road and see how it does. Let's do it. I'm thinking I like this one a little bit better than that last non-slide you had. I like the, the colors of the cabinets, but you were saying this one drives? This drives better than any other motor coach I've ever driven. Uh, maybe Even your 06 double slide Liberty? Maybe, uh, actually yes. I think this coach actually has an edge on that 06 uh, double slide Liberty H345. Uh, I came down the highway of this coach. I gotta admit, I was probably going a little bit faster than I should have, not breaking the limits of the law, Andrew, but just going faster than I normally would. I caught myself going 70 miles an hour and not even realizing it. No wind noise, no, this coach just drives so smooth. It's got late miles. Well, let's show us that, yeah. enough talking. Let's yeah, see what's let's going on. So uh, I've talked about it in a lot of previous videos, how the non-slide Prevos drive better than other coaches because of that true monocoque construction. They've got that steel cage. And then Liberty Coach, we've talked about it, how they warranty squeaks and rattles to the original owner of the coach. Now, this coach, you know, the, you're not buying, you're not the original owner of this coach, so there's no warranty left at this point. But if you did buy this coach new back in 01, it would still be under that warranty. So a lot to be said about that. And all the other stuff, you know, Liberty Coach, Doug, you, you've told me you've got some opinions on Liberty Coach. Well, I just think that there, I've said it before in other videos, I think when it comes to Prevo converters, I think Liberty is at the top of the game. And I think, honestly, you know, you're not going to find a whole lot of people in, in the Prevo community that are going to, that are not tied to Liberty, they're going to admit it. But I honestly think that most of the other converters are honestly ch chasing you know what liberty has i mean they have they, they honestly have the best product in my opinion over 50 years of being in business converting these coaches even this coach was 20 years ago but they had 30 years of building coaches where if you're going to buy another prevo of this vintage i don't think any of the other prevo converters uh have been around as long as liberty coach well, put your air floor out andrew where's my seat belt all right doug's got the step cover pulled out there it's in really good condition too i like that carpet that they use for the step cover. And we're gonna do an in-depth video touring this coach. Let's get the highway. Typically we're not doing highway speeds on there. We're doing 55, I mean, when I say highway speeds, up there. Let's get let's get this thing up to 70 so your viewers can see uh, what I was feeling driving this thing for uh, 12 hours. Yeah. It's got the dash operator Liberty Coach panel there. And then it looks like a big upgraded uh, aftermarket stereo. Some, some great electronics that have been upgraded in this Samsung smart televisions front and back. Um, and of course the updated radio and, and huge backup monitor there. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. hitting some extremely rough roads here, Andrew. And you, you know, you just, the suspension takes, soaks up all the, all the roughness in these, in these roads on a Bravo. All right, let's hit this highway, Andrew, and see, see what this coach is all about. In a moment, I'm gonna walk to the back of the coach while we're going down the highway here to give you guys the full effect, but beautiful day down here in central Florida today. It's pretty windy today, so we may hear a little bit of, it's not really wind noise, it's just, it is, but it's on the exterior of the coach. No different than you'd find in any motorhome. Or car at that. Or car at, yeah, for sure. Well, let's get this let's get this booger up to 70 and see what she does. <laughs> I think, well, while you're accelerating here, I think this is a good time to take everyone to the back of the motorhome. I was buckled in, but can unbuckle here real quick and I'm just gonna shut up and let you guys listen.
I think that does need to be replaced. That is a little bit. I mean, you could have a nicer chair there. I do have to say real quick though, this has got to be my favorite color of cabinetry. Something that you're going to see modern. Love the cabinets in this coach and really the floor too. I love the colors. Probably my favorite color combination interior of this era. It's got the north-south facing beds. This is a sound while we're going down the road. We can walk over here the bathroom has the Jack and Jill doors I really like that floor plan non slide coach it's not air door it's just a manual door there Doug how fast are we going buddy so I kept it about 60 while you were uh back there i didn't want to get going too crazy we're going to get this thing up to 70 so you can see what it's like at 70 miles an hour in a 20 year old bravo liberty coach yeah um, top of the game here yes sir all right there we go there's 70 miles an hour in here of course we got 15 20 mile an hour winds outside so you got a little bit of a little bit of drum noise there about as smooth as it gets right here Doug you know for somebody who's thinking about buying a, a, a 20 year old Prevo there's a lot to consider Andrew you know what are you coming out of a fiberglass coach is this your first coach you know talk call and talk to me if you want the scope on on everything whether your, your situation may be different from others but if you want have any questions about what it's like to, to operate own maintain a Prevo like this. I mean, I've owned uh, my first coach was a non slide marathon. Uh, I actually have that my, wasn't your first coach, you owned a bunch of RVs well, before I, that. I, I call your it first, first Prevo, it's my first Prevo, you know. So it's it's I, that's what I call it my first coach because that's when I really started enjoying motorhome and like I mean, really thoroughly started enjoying it. Ownership of a Prevo is different than a regular fiberglass motorhome. How is ownership of a Prevo different than a fiberglass coach? I know. The first thing is, is these gotta stay plugged into 50 amp all the time. Yeah, it's, you can't just store it and turn off the battery disconnect. What other big differences are there? Yeah, so I mean, you touched on that. You, this isn't a coach that you can turn off and, and park next to your house, uh, you know, without power or, or really uncovered. A lot of people do leave them uncovered. I mean, if you're gonna have the type of investment that it takes to, to buy, own, and maintain one of these, you know, it's best that you try to store it inside, obviously. And there's a lot of people that don't, and that's fine. But, you know, 50 amp source is important or some kind of power source. But it's just different owning a, a, a Prevo. It's hard to explain. Uh, it is it is better in so many ways. Really nothing, nothing negative. Anything, this is more like a home in the way that you can change things around. And, and the service aspect is huge when it comes to these coaches, Andrew. It's so... It's so much easier to get a Prevo serviced and, and, you know, worked on versus a fiberglass nowadays. I mean, these dealers, mega dealerships are, in some cases, three or four months out on a service appointment. Um, and, you know, with, with the Prevo, you're just not going to have that. You're going to, Prevo is going to get you, not only do they have mobile service, I just sold a 98 Liberty to a wonderful gentleman named uh, uh, Bernie Ventanelli, I think is how yeah. you say his last name. You know, he, he had to check that coach all the way back to Massachusetts. And with ownership of any mini machine, you really, you always had the ability to have issues. So Bernie made it all the way to New Jersey and he had an issue with his fan clutch. And coach started overheating. Pretty quickly we found out that it happened to be his fan clutch went bad, which is typical. It's just a normal thing that happens. And within just two or three hours, he had Prevost service van 
on site got him going back down the road Andrews. So. yeah a lot to be said yeah. about that yeah yeah and then on the other side of it too there's a whole side and that was of, a 98 that was a 98 liberty he loves that coach he prevo service guys out there uh, Bernie said he had before he had the overheating issue he had to stop and get ice that was caked all over the radiator uh, the side radiator so I don't know if that maybe had something to do with it or not uh, maybe some of you Prevo service guys could chime in there but uh, but no the moral of the story is that Prevo ownership is definitely a different ball game and not in a bad way I mean I, I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't thoroughly enjoy it um, and the, the the service aspect I think but call me I, I can ramble on and on and on. We can make this video. Yeah, we want to ramble. You'd rather tell all of them at once than have uh, a yeah. million phone calls come in. So what else? What other advantages of, are there of owning a Prevo? And we got a, we got quite a little. Uh, this is kind of cool to see. You don't see this very this often. This is the Fantasy of Flight uh, uh, and the some, some kind of show they do once a month or whatever. Fantasy of Flight. Uh, we're right here off I-4, uh, halfway between Tampa and Orlando. Uh, in Polk City, um, and uh, but yeah. The so own, back to Prevo. What? Own, owning a owning a bus is there's there's a list of things. You know, I can't. I'm not going to be able to recite them all here, but you know, drivability obviously is as far. As I superior. think we're going to have to make a video fiberglass versus Prevo. What Absol do you think? Absolutely, I, I think that would be a lot of fun. But you know, the highlights are that it's. I think it's easier to get one serviced. You create a relationship with your local Prevo service guy. They're all over the place. I use Jeff Rowe at East Tennessee, luxury coach. That's just who I formed a relationship with and really like. Um, and you know, you're going to find somebody where you live that's going to be able to service these things. And they're all, it's such a small community, Andrew. I think you could probably touch on this better than just about anybody. It's such a small community that pretty much everybody knows everybody. And you really, I really haven't really found any bad apples. Great people in the Prevo uh, industry. It is, it's amazing. It, again, I don't know the numbers, but I'm just going to spit some numbers off what I think what it is. There's only on the motorhome side of Prevos. There's only probably what maybe two to three thousand motorhomes running around. Yeah. The road. I mean, it's not. It's a very small, small community. Yeah. I mean, when you look at all, you got five converters. So. You know, Liberty obviously is at the top of the game. I think they're building between 14 and 18 coaches a year, I think. You've got Marathon, I think they're doing 24 coaches a year. You've got Featherlight, they're probably doing a dozen. Millennium's probably doing maybe a dozen. And I think Emerald only did about nine last year. And then you've got the tour bus conversions as well, but there's not a lot of these coaches out here. Now you do have some of the what we'll call like the the legacy conversion companies so you've got country coach legendary uh royale coach there were a lot more converters you know but but back when they were making coaches millennium wasn't you know in business until the early 2000s emerald wasn't converting coaches yet um you know featherlight was around marathon's been around and liberty's been around for a long time but you know at one point you did have uh, legendary and country coach and royale which is owned by monaco uh and there's a few like one-off companies that still still i think even convert coaches like bruce out of canada and another one that was around way back in the day was agnola coach hearing you talk brings up another point of somebody who's maybe watching your channel and going why is a 20 year old Prevo the same cost as a two or three year old fiberglass well it's really simple that look on the road and look at see what coaches are out there on the Prevos that are out there look how many 20 25 year old Prevos are all hitting the road with two three four five hundred thousand miles on them and they're still out there doing doing work yeah lots of yeah and then and then you also have all the tour buses which is a whole different deal and then look at how many 1998 uh tiffin or newmar tiffin newmar how many of those coaches are going up and down the road andrew not very many very i mean i'm talking maybe one or two percent of what originally was manufactured when you have outside of coaches that have been total total losses I'm going to say you have up in the high 90 percentile of coaches that are still intact and not in a junkyard somewhere. Yeah. Uh, they were, you know, 20, 25 years old, in my opinion, is what I'm thinking. 
this Liberty coach does have the Series 60, Detroit Diesel Series 60, the most sought after engine in the RV industry, in my opinion, Allison 4000 transmission. But Doug, we want to know how much money you need for this uh, Liberty coach. Uh, how much dough do you need, man? I think 229 on yeah, this You got coach. all the money right there. Yeah, it's just 20 bucks. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I think this coach is going to be extremely well priced in the market at 229. 229. So, two hundred thirty thousand dollar non slide Prevo Liberty coach. I'm a big fan of non slide Prevos. Big fan of Liberty coaches. If someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold well, of? Well, immediately reach out on my cell phone. I'm the number one source when it comes to the Prevo side of what we're doing. You know, a lot of the fiberglass stuff. A lot of my crew at Sewell Motor Coach. Yeah. So definitely reach out to my cell phone. SewellMotorCoach.com is where you want to go look at the pictures my cell phone number is at the top right hand corner of that website i answer my phone uh as much as i can i make it receive 100 phone calls a day so please if, if i don't answer the phone leave a voicemail or shoot me a text message with the coach you're interested in and i will absolutely give you a call back immediately 859 613 2574. Awesome, Doug. Greatly appreciate you and the team at Sewell Motor Coach. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you all. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Mm -hmm.